how Tesla's new 4680 batteries are made. Tesla would never risk holding back at battery day, especially to introduce a new 4680 cell form factor. The novel form factor does away with the tabs, alleviates energy density, supports similar thermal characteristics of smaller cells, betters the power to weight ratio, streamlines manufacturing and is cost efficient. Let's run through each of the advancements that these batteries bring to the table. This video is going to be all about Tesla's massive invention with 4680 batteries along with some other related discussions that are currently happening in the said field. Before we delve further into this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also the notification bell. Scale is necessary. Tesla was rather satisfied in buying cells with its proper chemistry from its suppliers, but came across problems on the horizon. Tesla likes to challenge itself by aiming to develop persistently at a rate of 40-50% to every year and, to ensure this, they better acquire more and more batteries without compromising on their quality. Tesla's battery prediction revealed the lacuna between the production limits of its suppliers and its own internal growing demand for both its automotive as well as energy storage businesses. As a solution to these issues, Tesla's teams have been working relentlessly in acquiring as well as designing new technical solutions to facilitate more advancements in the battery cell format. Besides, Tesla influenced its working in the battery cell manufacturing space in addition to its internationally top-rated manufacturing equipment competency to reimagine the entire process from beginning to finish. Step Change Advancement and Manufacturing Process As it desired greater competencies in automotive manufacturing, Tesla quickly raised the bar from simply designing and building products to investing time and mind into the designing aspect of the machine. With much to do with Musk's obsession with initial thinking of principles and rationale, he began with every design, every dialogue and discussion around the bare truth, securing the products to the minerals they are composed of. In the battery space, we witnessed this company foreground a new foundation of truths with the possession of the battery as well as supercapacitor pioneers such as Maxwell Technologies and Hybar Systems. Tesla learned to develop its name through the construction of its first gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada, obtaining the expertise of manufacturing equipment at the famous Groman Automation. They quickly rose to become the primary developer along the battery cell production lines working under Tesla's Gigafactory 1, which successfully ensured highly improved production lines by contributing their expertise to the factory since there was a demo and for more cell production capacity. Bettering each of the primary silos that comprised a battery was cooperative and led to great results at Gigafactory 1, but Tesla had in store a much wider vision. It was full integration. Tesla's persistent pursuit of vertical integration buds from a longing to completely annihilate and better the sustainability of the said product. A byproduct of such vertical integration is a much needed factor of cost efficiency during manufacturing that is helping to drive the cost of Tesla's products low over time. The architecture of the novel 4680 cells also bears a direct influence in bettering manufacturability. In addition to the tabless design that eliminates the requirement for a tab, it also thrashes any need for the production lines to waste time to add the tabs. These cells do away with this bump in the road that has helped to facilitate a manufacturing line that is somewhat less vulnerable to manufacturing defects which led to the rolling up and spitting out of these great 4680 cells. If we really do think this through, a conclusion can be very easily drawn here that it is not just a concept or an exhibition of any sort. They have clearly stated how they are beginning to amp up the manufacturing of these products at their pilot 10 gigawatt hours production facility. Often referred to as Project Roadrunner, Tesla founded a pilot line specifically to serve for the manufacturing processes of these cells, and the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, announced how they look forward to amping the pilot line processes up in terms of gigawatt hour and, whenever required, to even terawatt hour scale. Musk said that even though it might take some time to reach the 10 gigawatt hour mark of production capacity, they expect to give it the sweet start in the new production lines not more than the next 12 months from now. Once the said goal is achieved, they are ready to drive scale. He also announced that the realized production plants will be at levels of 200 gigawatt hour or more over time. For the long term scheme of things, it is not the new dimensions of the sales, configuration or chemistry of its product that Tesla considers as its core competency. Rather, manufacturing is vital for the company. Musk said that every car company will eventually have its own long-range electric cars as well as some level of autonomy. 
but the twist here is that not every company will be competent or an expert at manufacturing. He has clearly announced their ultimate goal that Tesla will absolutely, with both mind and body, be at the top in manufacturing. Form Factor One of the outcomes of making these efforts has found its worth when Tesla gave rise to the cell format of the new 4680 tablet cylindrical battery that brings together a combination of performance, cost benefits and manufacturing to the world of battery manufacturing. As the name suggests, the new massive cells have a diameter of 46mm and a height of 80mm. The larger jelly roll has more battery material that is packed for 5 times advanced improvement in energy storage and 6 times elevation in power. The new form factor alone gives you a 16% elevation in range. These cells are inherently better than the cells with tabs in every way possible. Even though the former has a bigger mass compared to the latter, removing the tab basically makes it more convenient for the propulsion of electrons inside the cell than its contemporaries like the current 2170 cells. What this ensures is that, as Musk revealed, the driver actually has a shorter path length than these massive tabular cells when compared to that of smaller cells with tabs. The novel cells are not the outcomes of just one simple change with respect to the size of the cells. Silicon is a common constituent material often used in a company's batteries today, but what remains quite challenging to use such an element is the physical properties that make it difficult to use at higher volumes. Experts say that the difficulty of using silicon is that it expands four times when charged with lithium. Silicon is currently one of the most abundant elements on Earth that follow right after oxygen. This inevitably means that it advocates a lower cost as well as renders itself as an easy to acquire commodity. Considering the challenge of working with the element's rough edges, the company predictably began with its raw form. This is one of the most efficient reasons as to how it lowers the cost of the manufacturing process. Then, Tesla simply came up with a chemistry to make it industry usable and further complement it. Once the surface is stabilized with the help of elastic ion conducting polymer coating, the application was done through a very scalable attitude. When you consider the processes that are used currently, Tesla has simply outdone itself while ensuring low manufacturing costs. The results are outrageous as it is not just cheaper but also harbors a higher capacity of power. With the said technology, Tesla was able to elevate the range of the vehicles by an additional 20%. The cherry on the cake is that the sales are also cheaper, not just for the manufacturers, but also for the consumers. With such an intelligent process, there has been a substantial reduction of about 5% when it comes to packaging the battery. Reimagining Cathode Production Tesla being Tesla, the company had to come up with something both innovative and efficient. This meant that they started off with a completely blank sheet of paper and used it to come up with drafts of a plan to hone each and every step to reduce both waste production as well as the cost of transforming from its raw state of ore into its industry usable form, cathode. The company's new high nickel cathodes entirely got rid of the need for the element cobalt. With respect to the chemistry of the element, cobalt acts as an able anchor for a cathode, but it definitely comes with a cost. What we mean by this is that cobalt is toxic. The lesser number of toxic materials humans get themselves exposed to, process, mine and use, the better. Additionally, it is very difficult to fixate on a source that will prove to be sustainable, since the maximum level of cobalt production in the world is concentrated in a single country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. As it is no news that the leadership in the country has not been the most steady, it obviously means that investing millions of dollars into such an already unstable system will not help in these matters. From electric vehicles to consumer products, feeling even more pressure by depending on an already corrupt system often leads to the destabilization of the prices. Ethics can sometimes slide by an inch, with a number of human rights groups coming up with a term called conflict cobalt. Because of all these factors and putting this together with the socio-political issues surrounding cobalt, even though it is advantageous in the battery cell, it is certainly not beneficial to the company that is vehemently working towards scaling up its battery production as high as 3 terawatt hours per annum by the end of 2030. To do away with cobalt and favoring a high nickel cathode over a cobalt one increases the cost of a cathode by 15% in terms of cost per kilowatt hour basis. And let us assure you that, even though it sounds like a small amount, it is nothing but massive. Designing as well as manufacturing cathodes at the grassroots level also gives the company a whole new dimension and a great kickstart at developing its own internal battery recycling systems which we all can appreciate and applaud. 
What do you think about Tesla's novel ventures and how far will it impact its future designs and prototype? If you have any heads up, additional information or even a suggestion, comment below and let's have a healthy discussion.